Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Front Mission. When we last left off, we uh, apparently are going to set off to an island and uh, possibly move into the final showdown of the game. So, well, let's go do that, shall we? Um, don't think we're fitting onto that uh, that fighter there that kind of looks suspiciously like an F-15. Yep, they definitely look like F-15s, <laughs> which is curious considering this game is like, <clears throat> you know, 60-odd uh, years into the future. They have the airport secured. We can't stay here. The reinforcements will find us. There's only one way out of this mess. Get to the chopper. Oh, he said it. He absolutely did. Right, we can take 11 dudes again. So let's do just that. I'm going to sit here and drink my beer. You know, I'm not like the biggest fan of lager, but every now and again, you find one that just hits the spot. I mean, lager's fine. Um, I just prefer my ale. Right, so what exactly are we dealing with? Oh my. There's a... Uh, there's a couple of them, isn't there? All right, that's fine. I guess we are just going to start pushing forwards. Uh, I guess these guys can push forwards from this direction. No real tactics to start with. I don't know whether we're going to keep everybody in two different groups or whether we're going to converge everybody. We'll try two different groups for now. Now, unfortunately, those guys above us, there's not a huge amount we can do. Because we're totally out of weapons range. For the moment at least. Let's keep these guys separate. And get them to scout up ahead. So apparently next month. Um, Front Mission 2 is coming out. So Pee Wee. You can kind of stay there. Yeah Front Mission 2. Never played it. As I said, prior to this remake, uh, the only front mission game I played was the third one. And I didn't even finish that, apparently, going back to my memory. Um, because if I remember correctly, it, my stepbrother came over with it and we played the hell out of it. This was when I had my Dreamcast as well, so I was like way more into my Dreamcast because that had just come out. Um, but the more we played Front Mission 3, the more I was like, ah, oh, dude. Why didn't this game come out on this system, man? And, uh... Oh, I remember I played a lot of it, and I absolutely loved it. And in fact, um... Before they announced this remake, I did actually start recording Front Mission 3. Um, must have been a couple of years ago. And I actually stopped recording it because they announced this remake. Right, let's go cut those guys off, I think. With the second team. But the second team can't find missiles through there. Because of course they can't. Because, you know, F-16s or F-15s uh, block your shots. Maybe you're in a museum. I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, so I actually stopped playing Front Mission 3 uh, because this was coming out. And I remember... Um, yeah, it's just a couple of years ago playing it, and uh, you know what? It's still fantastic. No surprises, I suppose. It really is a hidden gem. Um, I don't actually have a physical copy of it in my library, unfortunately. But I do have it on PS3. And I tried it on an emulator as well, on uh, Duck Station. And man, can you make it look pretty bloody good on Duck Station. Oof. JJ. JJ's fresh. He wants some revenge after what happened to him in the last mission. Yeah, he's, he's pretty salty about that. You can tell. Alright, you know what? Actually, May, I want you to advance 
and tear those guys up coming down. At least try and stem the tide. She might go down, but if we can just hold them back whilst we painstakingly go. Actually, instead of painstakingly going around there, just do that. That's fine. And then hopefully we can cut them off. At least to some degree. Uh oh. Oh, he's got a donkey as well. Not great. There is a lot of them here. Good lord. That's okay. Apparently, we're all going to get on that little Chinook helicopter. With all of our Wanzas as well. There's 18 of us, by the way. Excellent. Not bad, JJ. Not bad at all. Oh my god, that hurts. Luckily, got very lucky there actually that she didn't take out the uh, other weapon. Oh god, okay. Those donkeys, they, they really are stinging. Uh oh, that's... Yeah. Yeah, that's not, that's not good. But... <sighs> we can persevere. Alright, so first thing, that has to go. Not bad. Oh, really? That little um, missler, get rid of you. Yeah, the little counter attack he did was kind of useless. And I'm not even mad. Not even mad. Come, Ryuji. Yes, that's why we pay you the big bucks. Get rid of that missler. That's going to sting us right in the back. In fact, Natalie, what I want you to do is kill the commander. Can't actually remember how much of a direct threat that guy is, but, well, he's dead now. So, Keith, I need you to sort this guy out. There we go. Not a lot left, so you don't need to use too many skills. Although, nothing wrong with a little bit of overkill. Uh, now, JJ, uh, back off for a minute, brother. Fred, you know what, Fred? Fred, you can push. We have definitely, like, overtaken these guys. I, I thought this little crunch was going to be a little bit more extreme than it was. But we're okay. May, this could be a poor decision. But, I want you to take this missile out. Well, nice work. Now, Paul, brother, if you can sneak around, I want you to just start lobbing rockets at them uh, anywhere. It's all good. Okay. So, yep. Yep. Keep lobbing those rockets. Because I think you get four in each launcher. Which, to be honest, is pretty bloody good. It's four shots. Uh, and as we can see just how devastating the donkey is. It's quite nice. It's very good to soften the enemies up. Gregorio. I'm going to take that missile launcher off you, Gregorio. I mean, seriously, dude. You're letting the side down, brother. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Wow, Molly's long range. Not even 500. Dude, she shouldn't even be allowed to use a rocket launcher. Right, you can just hang there, Pee Wee. Let's see if the rest of these numbskulls are going to advance. Oof. Okay, nasty hit there. Defend yourself, Ryuji. Kill him! Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's that's cruel. You left him alive? You just left him hanging there? Ryuji's just like a straight savage. Yep, go for it. Molly, show us what you can do. Well... Well, nobody's perfect, Molly. You know, but... Uh, that's fine. Um, 
Let's go around here, but we are going to eat a medkit. Uh, and you know what? It's probably not an awful idea. With Ryuji as well. Nat, Nat's good. Nat's Nat's always ready. She's she's got that feminine urge to kill everything, which is good. Oof, these are the qualities we like. Uh, Keith, you're good, brother. Give him a donkey right in the face, a donkey kick, if you will. Give it to him. Center mass, if you can, brother. Not bad. Right, Key, uh, JJ, you're good. In fact, JJ. Yeah, that bit's going to get a little bit overcrowded, isn't it? Uh, JJ, move over here, brother. Uh, give yourself some patch. God damn it, right arm, wrong arm. Son of a bitch. That's fine. Ooh. Right. Actually, finish him off. Definitely don't want him getting back. Nice work, Fred. Alright, no more brain devices. Um, oh, shit. And I didn't uh, equip anyone with Karen. Although, obviously, we should be equipping Royd with Karen. Excellent. Kind of unfortunate that she's lost an arm. The only reason it's useful even having that arm, to be fair, is it gives the enemies another target to try and hit. There we go. Go. Yes, we need that switch. That switch makes all the difference. God, just completely neutered him. <laughs> That's what we like to see. All right, cowboy. You're up. See what you can do against this attacker. Oh, 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 I didn't stand a chance. There we go. Good thing we got you out of that uh, seeking. And one thing I hate about this headset is even though it's charging, it screams like every hour um, or every half an hour, whatever, that it's charging the battery into your ears. I know. I put it on charge myself. I know it's charging. You don't need to shout at me constantly telling me you're charging. I expect better things from you, Corsair. Oh, I can't stay mad at Corsair. I'm a fanboy. I can admit it. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, Peewee. Actually, Peewee. I suppose you could join the main battle group. Gregorio, oof, actually, Gregorio could could eat a medkit, to be fair. Ooh, move, damn it, move. Yeah, that, shit, I didn't actually realize he was that injured. That's on me. That's completely on me. That's fine, then. All right. That guy's basically Winchestered. All right, so we can finish him, or we can finish him. Let's just move into the main pack. Move deep into enemy territory. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, we got another donkey missile launcher. I suppose having one spare is, well, not really useful, but sure. Um, attacker and an attacker. Go for the damaged one more chance of actually killing him. Although, if you trigger a switch, which you will, because you're awesome, it's not going to be much of an issue. Natalie. Natalie's in uh, epic shape. She can move in. Kill him. Go get him, girl. Excellent. Dropping that experience in. Actually, I think um, she's maxed out on her Short range skill, to be fair. So, oof, oof, <laughs> didn't even didn't even have time to react. All right, uh, I was gonna <clears throat> waste some med kits on him, but I don't think we need to, to be honest. <sighs> right, everybody, just push up. Uh, May, you know what? Just start patching. Paul, get around this sucker. Kill him. 
Uh, no jewel. Just spread that lead out. Uh, now you kill him. Come on, older. There we go. He's out of his Sea King now. He's much happier. He can maneuver. He can move a little, you know? I imagine that Sea King was a little bit restrictive. Pee Wee, you can hold, brother. Uh, just one mobile weapon system left. Fred's leading the charge. That's okay, actually. Fred, get your butt around there. Oh. Okay. I guess we didn't get the chance to shoot at him. Oh, we're too close for missiles, aren't we? Duh. Right, give him a donkey. And let's go. Hey, Elder, you are scoring some serious points right now. That's what we like. Alright, not bad. Pee-wee. Yep, yeah, Pee-wee just keep patching her up. Hang on. Patching her up? She didn't actually get any extra arm. So how does the repairing work on this set? I thought they regened X amount of hit points per turn. Maybe not. I don't know. I know in the original they definitely did. Still. Man, this guy's just getting donkey punched in the face, man. And not in the, uh, like, adult way. Well, I guess blood and violence is an adult way. Be fair. Alright, JJ. Get in there, brother. Yeah, this guy is, like, totally outgunned. He might as well surrender. Which, if I remember correctly, in Front Mission 3, that was, like, a thing that could happen. Enemy pilots could surrender. Kill him! Done and done. Everyone's on board. Have we left the Wanzas outside or what? Time to go. Wait, look! Uh oh. Don't, let, don't these guys ever give up? No time to waste. Go now! They'll shoot us down if we try. Don't worry, I've prepared a surprise for them. Uh. Okay. What is happening? Why are they exploding? Has he got, like, kill commands? That's a lot of dead pilots. Just because two kernels have fallen out. There we go. Sakata's headed for Long Rivers Island, due west of here. Doc, get on the chopper. What? And get in your way? I just slow you down. But I wish you luck. General, come with us. I must remain here, but thank you for the offer. Father! Natalie, it's about time I respect the decisions you've made for your life. You're your own person. Um. Well, yes. Everybody's their own person. Roy, do me a favor and keep her safe. Alright. We shall do our best. No promises in war. Or something. Can love really blossom on the battlefield? Snake! Wait, wrong game. Alright. And there we have it. Let's go. Is this the final mission? It actually might be. Uh, no. Maybe? Or is there, is the final mission, like, double-barreled? I can't remember. It's been months, man. I've slept since then.
We've been ordered to, by the motherland to dispose of you. Motherland? Wait, wait. We're so close. We only need to make final adjustments to the dosage of accelerants and uh, metamonic suppressants, and the B device will be complete. We do not need the B device. The S device is operational. But we've we made the S device too. No, the motherland created the S device. Your corporation only built the prototype. Your products did not meet our requirements. You have failed. Please, I beg you. We will give you one last chance, Carter. Use that growing, groaning your company built and dispose of Royd. If you succeed, you will have proven that your B device is functional and we will spare your life. I'll do it. Isn't Long River's Island a, a nature preserve? How could they build this here? It's because the island is off limits to begin with. Nobody was allowed here in the first place, so all they, so they had all the time in the world to build it. It's strange. Why didn't the PMO follow us? It's like they knew where we were headed. You think it's a trap? Probably. But we go in anyway, right, Royd? There's no turning back now. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so, in this mission, we can take everyone. And we are going to take everyone. Now, when I finish this game myself, on my personal playthrough, uh, I missed one of the characters. They have come. The, the frontline troops will take care of them. Never underestimate your foe, Sakata. But look, what's that? Whoever built this place had bad taste in art. The power readings are off the scale. That thing's operational. It's over 9,000. He didn't actually say that, but you know. All right, guys. So we're going to drop a save here. And when we return... It indeed does look like we're going to finish the game. I actually thought this mission was double barreled. I thought we had to do like um, the first part and then we moved on to the final part. But apparently my memory is sucky. So, well, I'm, you know, I'm in my mid 30s, guys. You know, my, my mind isn't what it used to be. Anyway, till then, guys.